Welcome, welcome, welcome to Motivated to the Max. I am your boy, Dara Tisdale. Y'all know how we like to do. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for you guys coming in on today. So sorry for my tardiness. When I said sorry for my tardiness, I was getting some stuff put in together on today. And it actually can kind of ties in from what I'm talking about on today because I was sitting right here, you know, I I got in kind of late last night, so I should have did it. I should have did it last night, but I was like, I do it in the morning and everything. So, like I was saying, I was late this morning, but man, I was late coming on here this morning because like I was getting some stuff put together, man. But before I get into that though, let's go ahead and start off with the house rules. We're motivated to the max in here on today. You guys know rule number one is like we come in here hot, honest, open, and transparent. Rule number two, we come in here living in thankfulness. We come in here lit. All right. And then rule number three, be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Be yourself. You ain't got look, you don't have to be fake around here. We like to come in here. We like to laugh. We like to chill. Cause y'all know y'all talking to one of the craziest people in in like all in North Carolina and everything. Who like to have fun? Who like to come in and make this thing be on and pop in? And then also before we even get even further into today's motivated to the max episode, I also want to tell you guys that look, this is the time for where we take the 10 second count on. This for where you can have your detox, be able to, you know, unwind. You know, plus it's the weekend. So, you know, we're getting ready for that weekend, getting ready to be let loose, be like, you know what? Let me have my 10 second count on. So anything that's trying to stop me from doing the thing for what God has called for me to do, anything that's trying to make me feel sad, anything that's trying to stop me from being happy or to have my joy, yo, here go that 10 seconds to get all that negativity out your system and everything and stop filling up with some positive, all right? And then after that, take your breather. You got to have a breather, all right? Take a breather. Trust me. I got, I have, I probably have another one probably like later on today. So here go your 10 second count off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So what I like to do, I just like to just to throw that thing out there and to, to see if forgiveness because I ain't going out there in the ocean to go get it. Now you crazy enough to go get it for yourself. I'm not going out there to go get it. And then I'll say, yo, take that breather. Like, like praise god i got my breathing in so yes welcome 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 so like let me tell you i know i said like nine o'clock or so on motivated to the man i was running late you know sometimes you start doing stuff and then you lose track of time and then you lose track of time that was me i was doing some stuff this morning i lost track i said man i'm losing track of time and then I had some stuff that came in last night, and that's right, you know. So, you know, I had to like, I had to set up some equipment and everything. So, you know, got so, you know, I got some equipment that came in, got some equipment that came in on last night, and you know, this past week and everything. So, I was like putting that stuff together, make sure that everything was rolling great and everything. I thought I was going to like, I said, man, I got to get like a whole new software and everything like that. But glory be to God, I didn't have to like rearrange my whole computer and everything. Thank God, I'm glad I didn't have to do that and everything but you know and that's one that's one of the reasons why i wanted to come on here today for motivated to the mass you know we caught this thing like you know the lit up friday and everything and so today i wanted to start it off as like this you want to know the best way to have like your lit off friday invest in yourself i know that's probably kind of sound like well that's normally what some of us do anyway there we you know we invest in ourselves nah literally Invest in yourself, believe in yourself for whatever that the vision stuff that God has given you to do. Believe and invest in yourself. You're talking to a person who didn't want to invest in themselves at some times. All right, I'm just going to be 100% honest with you. I'm keeping this thing hot, honest, and transparent here. It has been several times from where 
you're doing like motivated to the max or, we're, or I'm doing like kicking it with teen tennis there with my lovely wife and everything like that. And it has been some time from when I'm like, you know what? I read this giving all to my wife. Well, she can't have motivated to the max because she... Cause she had pop tosh and then you know we got kicking it with team tisdale in his covenant conversations and everything like that i about to be the point so you know what i'm about to give all this to my wife let her handle everything and everything because you know she has like that face and that talk you know and she can talk to people i'm the one who used to be like you know what i am good in the background behind me you guys know is that you can't always be in the background and you know what? And that's some things so I had to learn was like, Daryl, you can't be in the background no more, bro. And so then you, and then you know, come on, let's be you know, some of us wanna fight and be arguing with our own self, but like, no, but I ain't gonna do it. I don't feel like doing this, I don't feel like doing that. You know what? It's okay. It is okay. What's going on? That's right, you did have a day off. That's right, what's going on, bro? And so and so, you know, I was, so, you know, you have those moments from where that is, you're like, you know what, you know, I'm ready to drop this thing, oh, I don't want to do this thing no more, I'm ready to quit, I'm ready to do that, and everything like that, and so then, it was something from where I have learned, and you know what, and God was showing me this as well, definitely from whatever that God needs you to be on the, on the front row, he needs you to be on the front row of everything, and for where it's like, you know what, sometimes we want to put ourselves in the background because we don't even believe, we don't believe in ourselves, and so I'm sitting there, I was like, that's how you really going to hit me, Lord? <laughs> that's how you really going to hit me today? It's like, I don't believe, I do believe in myself and everything. Nah, you don't believe in yourself. <laughs> so I was like, well, well, dang, well, let me go ahead and get myself together and everything like that. And the reason why I said that, because it has been like several times from where, I'm being honest, it could have been several times where I could have been that invested and invested and invested in like motivated to the max and everything like that. I haven't even gotten to the point sometime. I was like, well, you know what? People don't want to hear this or anything like that. Let me just go ahead and just like, and like this, you know, just like trash it or like, you know, shut it down. Let me start from scratch. It was like, it was like, it was like some people I was talking to. They was like, well, you know what? Well, maybe you should start over, you know, and you should start over, you know, find like another niche or whatever like that. So, you know, I was starting to believe some of them things for what I was hearing. Y'all excuse me. But then I was like, you know what? Nah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep on going with this thing. I'm going to go ahead and keep pressing with this thing right here. Something just telling me just to keep on holding on to it. You know what I mean? You always had that feeling it was like you want to let it go, but then it's just like it's like you can't let it go. You know how you're trying like to hold, you know how a person hold a basketball and you like and you have a really tight grip on it, and then just be like, man, just let it go. It's that easy, but then all of a sudden, like the grip just get tighter. It's like, man, I can't I can't drop this thing. That's how the way it was with motivated to the max. And so now. You know, I felt, you know, I felt, look, Slides, I, look, Slides felt special today. You know, I felt a little special this past week. Can you know, like, I made, like, some, you know, I made some moves. Can you know, like, on, like, September and everything, like, in my, in my birthday and everything, you know, God made a way for me to be able to invest in, like, pretty much all, or, like, with Team Tisdale and everything like that, like, with my computer and everything like that, right? And so then, and so then, you know, you know, God was turning, you know, God was turning some things around. Stuff was starting to happen. Then, like, look, it was getting to the point for where I was like, okay, cool. Well, since some of the stuff of what was going on with my wife's, um, my wife stuff, you know, um, with Lashay, you know, with her being an esthetician and everything like that, I was willing to put myself on the back burner for it could be like, well, okay, then, well, since she has, uh, since she got a lot of stuff coming up and everything, I could just set my stuff to the side and then I help push her to keep on going to doing for what she needed doing. Let's go ahead and be honest. I was trying to find an excuse to get out of it. But then I just couldn't get out of it and everything. And so then, like, now, 
like I said, so I made like you know, I made some moves. You know, I was able like to buy me a microphone. You know, I made some things that could help me be more manageable. You know, like we're doing like motivated to the max and everything like that. You know, I was updating like software. You know, and everything. You know, for like if I'm doing here for the podcast and everything like that. And so like the more I was starting, you know, so, so like the more I was starting to invest in myself, the more like that fire was starting to build up. I said, you know what, then, and so, you know, like, so, like, once I'm done here, on like, motivated to the max, and then I'm about to go reach out to somebody right here, you know, I'm about to go reach out to a, um, a certain person and everything about some things from where, like, you know, trying to, um, trying to get some things together, um, like, for, like, for, like, a sponsor and everything like that, and it was just like, you know what, I said, if I had this fire way before then, then, you know, like, I probably would have been had, had most of my stuff already done. But then I gotta go through the yeah, I had to go through my little process. I had to go through the fact from where, you know, cause I was able to point was like, look, I'm even good, like being nothing but like if I'm just talking to like the screen and and like I said on like what was it, Wednesday, I said I'm fine just by me talking to the screen right there because honestly I need to talk to myself like every day. So you know what? You gotta get up, you gotta keep on pushing. Nope, we gotta keep going. We gotta get. We gotta keep going. We gotta do this. You know, we got. You know, we gotta get this thing done. We gotta get this right here done. And so it's been one of those moments from where it's like, wow, I need to start learning to invest in myself. And it's one thing from what I'm getting. You know, from what I was starting to understand for this right there. Like, if you truly would say. If we always like we always say, you know, like God, I trust and believe for what you're gonna do for my business and everything, like you know, and everything like that. So whenever God gives you the tools and everything to go and invest in yourself, why don't we do it? Right. Sometimes we have to encourage ourselves. Sometimes that is so true. And then we be looking like, why don't like why don't we do it? And I'm be I'm be real I'm be real honest with you guys. It was like something that happened this past week. It was something happened, you know, um, an unexpected thing had came in and everything like that. But it was allowing, but it was allowing like my wife to keep on moving and everything like that. And so, you know, she was doing what she was doing. You know, she was moving, you know, doing what she needed to do, you know, for like for lat shade and everything like that. So then I said, I ain't going for, I was like, one of the ones I said, well, dang, like, were you able to do everything for like lat shade and everything like that? Why can't I do the same thing for like motivated to the max? And so then I was like, well, hey, honey, let me ask you a question. I said, well, since you got this going on and, and everything like that, is it okay if I start investing in motivated to the max but then the same target is investing in for like the whole team tisdale in general and everything so then she was looking at me and was like yeah why not i said because because see because like i had to have a different whole new mindset because i had to get out of mindset thinking about that i cannot invest in myself i was always been the one that was like okay let me invest in this person right here because i believe on what they're doing right here is going to be great it's going to be awesome you know what i'm saying like cool i help push you you go do this and everything like that but then i never thought about pushing myself i never thought about like investing in myself on some of the things from where i from on some of the things from where um, this whole like with whole team Tisdale, you know, motivated to the match, like needed to go. And so I was like, well, you know what? Well, I'm gonna start. You know, I need to start talking to myself. I just, you know, and then like it was a, it was something that really like sparked my fire up. Whenever I had a conversation with my bro, you know, I had a conversation with you know with one of my brothers. He called me up. He called me up. I'm gonna say yeah uh, the other day. It wasn't yesterday. It was the other day, Wednesday. He called me up on when he called me up on Wednesday, and you know then like he called me and then like me and him we were starting to talk and everything like that. So I was like, you know what? I said, all right, then cool. Um, so like we was talking like he wanted to start getting into some stuff from whatever that it was stuff I already knew how to do and everything like that. So then like you know I felt like I felt kind of honored because you know bro, bro called me. I was like, oh snap, he called me like oh snap. My bro called me about you know about some stuff like this. So then I gave him some I gave him the info and stuff for what I had. 
I said, well, try this right here, you know, and try this right here. And, you know, some of the things for what he was trying to do, I'm not going to mention some of the stuff on what he wanted to do because, uh, that's, you know, that's his thing. But then, like, some of the stuff on what he was trying to do, I said, you know what, like, I said, I, I always wanted to do something like that, but I just never had enough of that oomph just to go and do it. And so then it was like, well, you know what, I'm at this part right now. I was like, yo, it's time for me, like, as some of, you know, car players and you know everything man it's time for us to risk it for the biscuits <laughs> you know what i'm saying yo we about to yo we about to look i didn't go ahead and roll some wheels on this thing so we can go ahead and make these books and everything so we can go ahead and get this thing get it done that's the man that's the that's the mindset that i had to be in and he's like yo like i really need to get to that point like yo i really need to invest in myself i can invest in everybody else but then i can't invest in myself why is that and then one of the reasons why sometimes we sometimes we are scared to invest in ourselves, to even press in ourselves and everything like that. Let's go ahead and just call it what it is. Sometimes, man, we're scared like a month. We're scared like a month thinking about, yeah, we might fail in this thing. I done had so many projects and everything like that. So, you know, I had, you know, trying to get this done. We're going, you know, get this, you know, try to push on this and everything like that. It just didn't come through how the way that I wanted it to come through and everything. Sometimes you might want to be like, man, I'm tired of going through that and then it just don't work. I mean, we can be honest with ourselves. I mean, that's how I was sometimes. Like, man, I don't feel like doing this and then I'm, I'm tired of this. I ain't trying to do all this like every, every day. <laughs> And then, like, another thing, you know, and another thing for me, like I said, I'll talk about me all day. Another thing for me was, like, she was, like, I said that I trusted God, but then I didn't, I said that I trusted in God, but I really didn't trust on what God said about me. I was, I was that one was, like, God, you sure? You, you positive. You want to deal with me? You you sure? <laughs> like you rich? And then look, it's something I gotta be asking that question sometimes. It's like, yo, are you really, 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 really sure you want to deal with me? <laughs> and then right, y'all like scared of you know scared of fam. Um, we are our worst enemy sometimes. That is so true because we will try to find every little inkling of excuse on why we shouldn't do it. And I remember one time, I remember one time I had somebody tell me one time, this is like back when I was in high school and everything. And I and I was dealing like, you know, with self-doubt and everything like that in high school. I know, right? Me. I, I had it. Trust me, I had it. I had like some self that so I was talking with one of my teachers. He was talking, you know, he was talking with me and everything like that. Because he was like, he was like, you know on what to do. Why are you sitting right here not applying on what you know and what to do? And so then I was like, sometimes I'm just not sure. I said, like, I may ask for help or whatever like that. But then sometimes, and, you know, I was dealing with the crazy childhood sometimes, too. From where it was like some people didn't even want to deal with me. Just because, you know, plus size kid, you know, real bow leg and everything like that. He right here trying to make, you know, he, he just trying to survive. He just trying to get out of high school and everything like that. And so my teacher was like, yo, he was like, he said, because I noticed with you so many times, he said like, you could talk so much positive to somebody. He said, but why can't you talk positive about yourself? He said, you can do it all day. He said, trust me, he said, you do it all day. He said, and I know you can. He said, because I seen it. He said, because I seen you do it sometimes. Well, you just sit there and then like you'll talk about somebody, you talk positive to somebody all day. It's like, it can be like a person from from the class from where like they might have done lost their cat or something like that. And then here you go right here talking to them and say, you know what? It's okay, that cat gonna come back. <laughs> He said, but then when it like, but then when it comes to you, you always give yourself like the the negative and never a positive about yourself. He said, I'm trying to understand that with you. And so then it was like, well, you know, I mean, it's like I never did understood on why I was always do that. But then like now, for me being older now, and you know, for me being older now and everything, for thinking about how the way I was back in school and everything like that, I, I to be honest with you, I really did not believe in myself when I was in school. I was always sitting at that point was like, well, you know what? 
I guess this ain't gonna work for me or whatever like that. Or like one little small minor little thing, like one it could have been like I don't fail the project or something like that. So then once you know I don't fail that project that one time and everything, then it'd be like, you know what? I guess it wasn't meant for me to do it, and then I leave and then go to something else. But then it's like and then like my and then ooh, and I remember my teacher used to get so mad and went about it. He was like, dude, he was like it's like, it's not completely wrong. He said, I just need you just to go back and check something real quick. So why you just give up just because, like, it didn't work the first time and everything. All you got to do is, like, change a number right here or do this right here. And then, then bam, it should work and everything like that. But then I was in that point. I was in that point of stage when I was young and everything for where it's like, okay, once I failed that one time, that's it. It just ain't, you know, it just ain't going to work. And then, like, mind you. And so then, and then I went from where you coming out of an area from where, man, I went to like, I went to Page, I went to Page for high school. And then like, sometimes it was like, it's either like, it's either you're going to be like one of the smartest. It was like, it was almost like a little two way thing. It wasn't like you couldn't be in the middle. It was either going to be like you're at the top or you're at the bottom. And I always felt like I was at the bottom. I feel like I was at the bottom. Mind you, I ain't getting in trouble with nothing like that. I ain't getting in trouble all the time, nothing like that. I got a little bit of trouble, but I ain't getting in trouble all the time. You know, it's just the fact of the matter is like, I really didn't believe in myself. I didn't trust in myself and everything like that. Really, I was more, I, when I was at a young, I was more about the person who was concerned about other people than not concerned about myself. And then now I had to get in that point right now. It's like, yo, like, you got to care about yourself too. Don't be at that point from where that you can't invest in yourself or from where you can't have like that time for yourself as well. Just like from where I'm so proud with Natasha right now for where she's starting to learn how to help, where she is starting to learn to have self-care. And so then she said, well, baby, we need to go have self-care and everything like that. And so then, look, she had to catch me one time. She said, well, baby, you need to have self-care, too. And then I was like, then I started laughing. I said, oh, well, you know, I got self-care every day because, you know, I'm home. You know, I'm home every day. So then, like, whenever I'm finished doing whatever I need to do, then I'm at home. I ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm at home. I have a self-care. But then it was at the point from where it's like sometimes self-care is for me to is for me to get away from everything for what's gonna cause me to have my brain moving at like a hundred miles per a hundred miles per minute per second and everything. It's like, no, I need you to get away so then you don't have to worry about what's going on in home to be like I need for you just to get away just from there that you can start caring about yourself. So then, like, guess what? So then, like, it's been so many times now from where, like, yes, I'm in home or anything like that. But it's been some time right there, like, look, I, I shut everything, you know, I shut everything down. I shut everything down. I go outside, you know, I lock my door and everything like that. And then I sit outside and I just, you know, and I just enjoy, like, I just enjoy, like, nature. I just sit there and enjoy it. You know, the wind blowing and everything. I'm having my time with God. And then, you know, I'm just, you know, and I'm just sitting there. And it's like whenever that you had that time to have like that self-care, it's like you don't have a whole bunch of other stuff running through your head. It's like, well, what about this? And what about that? And, you know, I got to make sure this is done. I got to make sure this is done. I said, man, shoot. It's sometimes I got to put my phone on do not disturb when I'm having like that self-time for myself. Like, honestly, I literally just got back into reading, like reading a book. Or like I have like my AirPods in my ear and just sitting to just listen to music and enjoying and enjoying nature. Like it can be like 65 degrees outside. I'm sometimes I am outside. I am chilling. I got my AirPods in my ear and then I'm just sitting there and I'm just relaxing. Having a look, look, having my breather that I like to do, like have that 10 second, have my breather. Shoot, my 10 seconds sometimes, it got to be an hour. Just from where that everyday life or like that won't always start, won't, I, won't, ugh. everyday life won't start to tear me down because I'm worrying about everyday life. I know that may make no sense to some people, but it, you'll catch on to it. From whenever that you be like, you know what, I ain't gonna worry about this today. I'm just gonna just and then you like be sometimes you just be zoned out. Just like sometimes like on Saturday, look, this is this is my typical Saturday. My typical Saturday is like when I get up and you know we get our set together, we'll do like kicking it with Team Tisdale and everything like that. Most of the time after we do kicking it with Team Tisdale, I am done. 
for the rest of the day. I'm done. Now that something comes up, you know, I go see, you know, I go see my mom or, you know, or I'm calling, you know, or like, or me and my sister will talk on the phone, you know, like my, you know, my actual sister or, you know, or I'm sitting right there or I used to be the one, I used to be the one sometimes from where we're, yeah, I got to get that reconnect, you know, that reconnection in because sometimes I'll be the one sometimes like, look, let me disconnect from this right here for a moment and then let me sit right here and then I will be at a pool hall in a minute and shoot pool and then sit there and just relax for the rest of the day. It's like, all right, I'm good. Like, I- I'm ready to go. Or, you know, I know, you know, I know I met some people in there who like to go shooting. So then I'm like, look, we will be at this gun range in a minute <laughs> and I will be starting to shoot everything. And that's another way from where, like, investing in yourself as well. Because you can't look. I know. I get it. Some of us have been taught from where we had to keep on doing the ground and pound nonstop. We got to keep going. I don't care how the way you may feel. You still got to ground and pound. You still got to do it. You still got to keep on pressing and everything like that. Cool. That's that's good in some way. But then sometimes, man, what? And I had, look, I had to learn this with being married to, being married to Latasha. When the last time you been on a date? When the last time you actually will be able to like sit down and then like we're gonna do like and do a movie or something? Man, shoot, when the last time man you played freaking space? I know it's been a minute since I played. I gotta get to the right place to play space. So Max Life, y'all here? Could we do like a spade night? I'm just asking. Can we just do a spade night? <laughs> I'm just asking. But like, when the last time when you were actually able like to go out into like and just to reconnect and chill, to man, like when the last time you were able to like invest in yourself? Can I know just investing yourself and not just okay, well, I can get everything right here, my business can flourish and everything like that. Man, what about you? What about the person? What about the person? Give me so many times from where. Me and Tasha be so busy, and my family tell this all the time. My family tell this like all the time. Man, we would be like so busy, and then it would be like, look, like man, like we'd be wanting to call you guys, but then like you guys be so busy, and then we'd be like, we ain't that busy. As I know, we ain't that busy, right? I look. Look, I'll be down there for the spade. Look, hey, I'm trying. Look, Max, like we tell y'all, do a spade night. We good. <laughs> but then it's like, yo, it's like, it, and then like one, you know, one of um, it was Natasha's friend. They're like, yo, like when are you guys are like not busy? And they're like, we were laughing because like I think we were there for a birthday party. So I'm like, like right now I ain't busy right now because I'm sitting right here chilling with y'all. <laughs> I ain't busy now. I said, I'm not busy now. I said, but me and Latasha really had to learn. It'd be like, yo, it's sometimes, yo, sometimes you gotta invest for what you gotta make sure that you know entrepreneurs, you gotta make sure everything's on that grind, you working and everything like that. But when are you gonna when are you gonna invest in the person? When are you gonna invest in you? That chill mode. Like from where it's like, I can tell you right now, it's been so many times from where and then it and I started to notice this too whenever before I had my amputations. And my mother and my wife, they all they always would catch it too. They was like, I would be like so busy. You know, like I'm up, I'm running, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You know, I'm all over here, I'm doing that. I'm, I mean, like I'm doing like everything. But then all of a sudden, like they just then all of a sudden my mother and my wife would start to see this like, son, you need you need to chill out, you need to rest. But then in my mind, I said, like, okay, if I don't get it done, you know, if I don't, if I, if I can't get this done right here, then it's going to be like a whole lot of people depending on me because, you know, I can need to get this done right here and then everything like that. And so then once I done got to that point for where it's like, nope, I got to keep on pressing. I can't rest. I can't, you know, I can't chill and do this or whatever like that anymore and everything like that. My tail always ended up in the hospital. And then, like, the doctor come in, my doctor comes in, and he's looking at me, and he was like, and he'll be the one be like, and my doctor be the one, the one was like, what the heck is it this time? <laughs> and I'm like, 
I don't know, you know, I was just, you know, I was doing this and I was doing that, you know, I was just working and everything, you know, I was just trying to get some stuff done and everything like that. And he was like, oh, okay, then, okay, 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 okay. And then the first thing he asked me, when the last time you had some sleep? He never like, why well, had sleep the other day? Nah, he said, when the last time you actually rested? He said, let's go ahead and make this thing more personal. When the last time you rest? When the last time you actually was not worrying about everything or on what was going on around you? When the last time you just sat right there and just be like, hey, this, I'm just going to, look, take a nap out. I, mean, I don't care, take a nap all that, something. He said, when you actually had like one of them days? And I said, well, no, I don't because we got this going on, we got that, we got that. And he and then like and, and my daughter was being real with me. I mean, I always had one of them she'd be real with me like that. And he was like, look, he said, I get it. We all gotta do like the hustle and grind. We gotta we gotta do this, you know, we gotta do this. We, I mean, we gotta be like on that grind mode and everything like that. He said, but it's one thing that you have to realize. How are you gonna be able to man, how are you gonna be able to do be in grind mode and everything like that? And then you can't even take the time to rest for you to be able to to rest your body, get all the rest and you know, and the energy stuff that you need to do to be able to go back into grind mode. How you gonna be able to do that if you don't rest? How you gonna be there if you don't even take time for yourself? And he was like, he says, that just like with now, you got so much stuff going on right now and everything like that. He said, like, I don't want to raise up your blood pressure, man. So he said, because your blood pressure is all out of whack. When the last time, like, you actually just rest. And then I had to sit right there, look, then I'd be sitting right there scratching my head like, I don't recall on when the last time I rest. So then he was like, you know what, I'm going to keep you for a few days. And I'm like, no, you ain't got to keep me for a few days. He said, one, he said, because like, one, you done been so busy and everything like that, man, you didn't recognize the sign, yo, that you were about to have an infection. So now you got one. He said, then like, two, he said, then like, two, I got to monitor your blood pressure and everything. He said, because it's like, it's up there. He said, but I know you're taking your medicine and everything like that. So what the heck is causing it to be up like the way it is? And then he actually was doing like a test on me one night. He had a nurse say, look, I want y'all to check his blood pressure whenever he is actually, like, rested. Like, nothing is bothering him at all. I want you to I want you to check his blood pressure and stuff for me. When she checked the blood pressure and everything like that, it was, like, so normal. She was like, if if you would, look, if we would have gave him his, if we would have gave him the medication, his blood pressure would have dropped, his blood pressure would drop below where it needs to be at. And he was like, yeah, I, I kind of figured. So then that's where he's going to the point for like, yo, he said like, yeah, inv- look, invest in yourself, you know, work, grind, do what you got to do. He said, but yeah, but also invest in your body, invest in your health, invest where it's like, yo, sometimes you might just have to take that day or t- that day just to be like, Phew. okay, I finally get to breathe for a minute. And I can come back into it like the next day. He said, man, shoot like yo, take he's like, yo. He said, invest in your like invest in yourself. Not just in like your tools and you know your equipments and stuff like that. What you need to like invest in yourself. So you know, like this is the weekend. I have nothing planned for this weekend that I know about. Wait a minute, I do got something planned. I gotta go, I'm going to like my sister's on um, birthday dinner on Saturday. And then after that, I'm going to be watching the ACC championship game. I'm chilling. <laughs> but then it's at the time from where it's like, and then I'm be listening to music and, you know, and just, and just relax and get to like that vibe. It's like, you know what? Nothing going to bother me on this day. Be willing to invest in yourself. Be willing to be like, yo, it's like, you know, sometimes, hey, be, look and be ready and be willing to be able to be like, yo, I can't always be in the background as well, you know, as well. I can't be in the background. You know, sometimes whenever you actually be able to do like some reconnecting with yourself and everything, that can actually that will actually will be able to prepare you to move to the front line for where you need to be at. Just reconnect it from whenever, man, from whenever that you be able to have that balance. And I should be the one to be talking about balance. Like, what in the world? Like, how in the world can I do? 
I had to learn some balance. And learn how to have my time. Look, I had to learn how to have my time with God. I had to learn how to have my time with Natasha. And then I had to learn how to have my time for, you know, for my, you know, for work and everything like that. Well, this ain't even work. This is something that I just love to do. But, you know, I had to learn how to, man, you know, to balance out my, you know, balance out my time. Balance out me. <laughs> and I mean, like, times I haven't been out like that lately. But I said, you know what? Just like I was just telling my wife, like, not too long ago. So I was watching the ACC tournament in here on yesterday after... At that, did you know whatever we did on last night and everything? And I said, "Yo, I said I don't know how we gonna do it, but it, I'm look, we gonna this gonna happen. I'm gonna be at the ACC tournament next year. I'm going. Like, this year they're in New York. Oh, I said I'm going. I don't care. I'm I'm trying to go for the whole week. Yeah, balance is key. I said so then I'm and so then and my mind was coming in like, how the way you gonna go to the ACC tournament? Your wife works." And everything like that. And then, you know, whatever stuff you got doing in there. And then, look, so I like, you know what? Well, I probably ain't going to be there. But then, God, look. So then I said, but wait a minute, though. If, I said, like, you know, but if I can get, you know, so, you know when I get to the ACC tournament, then, you know, I'm still doing, like, motivated to the max and everything like that. Man, I can probably get down there and talk to, like, you know, like the the coaches from Sarah, you know, the coach from Syracuse, or you know, Carolina or Duke, or everything like that. And then, you know, I could put them on the podcast, and then actually in the same time, I can go look. Then I can go live from in the arena where they at, or when they practicing and everything. So then I can be enjoying this right here, and then I can be doing this right here. But then guess what? Motivated to the max is only for like thirty to forty five minutes. I said, this is going to be a lifetime where I can chill and enjoy basketball with no distractions, <laughs> with none whatsoever. Since I had distractions, I'm trying to watch basketball. I'm like, look, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> and then my wife be the same way sometimes when it comes to reading. Like, she don't want me to bother her when she reading. I said, trust me, I'm not messing with you. I ain't bothering you. I said, son, son, I just got to say, hey. And then she be like, Hey, and I said, like, okay, that's all I want. That's what I said, hey, and then I'm going on with my business. Man, to keep that balance. But y'all like on today, yo, find your balance. Invest in yourself. Find your balance. Right? I mean, I mean, this is like the best investment that I'm making right now. It is being able to do this. And like while I'm talking to you guys here live and podcast and everything like that, I'm starting to learn. Some, look, I'm learning new things for myself as we're sitting right here talking, having a conversation right here. Yo, I need to look. I need to look. Hey, I need to renew my balance. And learn to invest. Invest in yourself. Are you entrepreneurs and everything like that? Man, look. Even people don't even... You know, like, even you get to the point right now, you're like, man, like, it just be like that time where you had, like, that one thing that this sales and everything like that. Let me tell you something. Like, me and Latasha, from whatever that we had, like, book sales, from whatever the, the book that we wrote and building again, I ain't gonna front. I was, like, one of the nervous people in, like, the world. Like, man, y'all want this ninja right here to do a book? Man, I think some of y'all has been, like, I think y'all been, been drinking a little bit. That's how way I, that's the way I would think. So I said, I think some of y'all drinking. I said, so whatever it is, let me get some of that because it's crazy. But then the same talking though, but when like that first sale hit, you know that first sale that someone like bought the book and everything like that, it was like you know what, like y'all yeah, like okay, I, I I can see you know I can actually like see this going somewhere. But then but guess what I had to do that I had to be willing to invest in myself. You know I had to invest in like well. Tasha did the flyers and everything like that, but then you know, it had to be in the point for where I had to invest in, you know, like talking about it on the podcast or you know, talk about it with kicking it with Team Tisdale, or you know, just being able just to just to invest in what, some of the things of what we have done. And so it's like it's been like one of them great moments from where that you feel when you have like that, you know, that momentum and everything. And this one thing from where I would learn from wherever I have learned from three thousand on this morning and everything. Yo, don't let nobody stop your mom, stop your momentum. 
Don't let nobody stop your Yo, your momentum is going to keep other people still. And so then you know, I thought about that and made me think about for what Pastor Owen said something. When he was talking to a person who was like, yo, you got to be like the um, the unstoppable, unstoppable um, object, man. Sometimes man, I got to be a juggernaut. I got to keep on going. You can't stop the juggernaut. The only way you can look, the only way you can stop the juggernaut from moving, like you gotta really find a way to stop the juggernaut from moving. You gotta like immobilize him. And here on this day, I can't let nobody immobilize motivated to the mass. I can't let nobody immobilize um team T, you know, team Tisdale. Period. I gotta keep the momentum going. And so even whenever that you're investing in yourself and then you taking that balance and that time for yourself, that's still your momentum still going. So don't think like, man, you know, if I take a couple of days, you know, it's just, everything is going to stop. No, because you want, let me tell you something. When you ever have that chance to take that time for yourself, to take that break, you know, just like, man, take like a day or two to take that break and everything like that. Man, first of all, you use that day one to actually like just to, just to downgrade everything. So look, let me just, let me just relax in this chair and everything. And then I'm like on that second or third day or all of that, man, God was getting ready. Like, now, look, now since you done had time to like discharge everything that I don't need to be inside, and now let me recharge you for what I need for you to have. So then when you go back into your, go back into the movement and everything like that, man, I don't get you brand new stuff to be like, you know what? I needed them a few days because like now I can tackle this another way. Oh, I could be able to do this right here because, like, now God done gave me the strategy on where I need to go or how the way I need to do this over here. Like, okay, cool, but like, whenever that, like, from whenever that team test that was in the beach, we was at the beach back in October when we went to the beach and everything. You know, Natasha was in the conference. I was upstairs, I was upstairs in the room working. So while I was upstairs in the room working and everything, Yo, like I actually just like I sat there and looked outside my balcony and everything, and I was looking at all the water and everything, just splashing, you know, just splashing on the shoreline and everything like that. And so when I was allowing God, you know, if I was watching, you know, watching the waves and stuff come in, I literally was like, "Well, God, shoot, whatever that's not at you, man, let me get washed up in the in the sea for whatever. I ain't got to deal with this thing no more." So then once I actually look, once I actually let go and gave it all to God. And so then, like, you know, I had my computer out. You know, I'm like, you know, I'm working on some stuff. You know, I, look, I actually did motivated to the match life from the hotel room and everything like that. But then when I actually was enjoying the beach, I actually enjoyed it. I was taking that time for, like, for myself and everything. And then all of a sudden, it was like, stuff was starting to download. I like, oh, I never thought about that. Oh, snap, I didn't think about that. Oh, well, thank you, Lord. You know what I mean? It was starting to download. Just like whenever I took a few, just like when I took like that, um, that little time off, you know, before like the um, beginning of the year and everything, that was just download. But it was just, the, it was the fact of me of just executing and investing on what I needed to do to do the things of what God done downloaded to me. So, yeah, invest in yourself. Take I me, mean, I, I mean, I don't. I think I done said a whole lot today and everything. So, and then watch. My wife going to try to put me on for like kicking it with Team Tiz. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> no, nah, I'm playing. I said, I definitely would be, I definitely would be there. We'll definitely be there like for tomorrow. But like, yeah. But you know, invest in yourself. I mean, that's the best thing I can say for you. Look, invest in yourself for this Friday, you know, Fire Friday. Don't let, look, don't let nothing immobilize your movement, y'all. Yo, let your movement, let your enemy be still, man. And shout out to Pastor Brandon and the, and the three, and, and, and the 3,000 crew for when they was talking, you know, they was talking some about that on today. Look, and that shit, look, we just talked it up just like that. And so, like, yeah, don't let, look, don't let, woo, learn how to invest in yourself. Invest, invest in yourself. Honey, I ain't going through all that. It was encouraging, but yo, I had look, and you know what? From where, from where I had to have a conversation with myself, I literally had to like look at myself like in the, like in the computer screen, or like you know, or in a mirror or whatever like that. From where, yeah, we're talking about you, honey. But from where, um, 
you know, I really had to like talk about, you know, I really had to like talk to myself, like, you know what? Like, well, God, you gave me this. So like, you know, like what I need to do, you know, I really had to like have a conversation, you know, with myself, with God. And so then, so then like what God was downloading for stuff on what I needed to do for what I needed to do and everything. And I was like, well, okay, Lord, I, you know, I got you. Right, go invest in you today. Look, okay, huh? I'm gonna catch you up real quick before I get off. Look, I was talking about how the way that God had, you know, God had blessed whenever it did. You were starting to invest in your stuff, invest in you for like Lash Aid Beauty and Cosmetics. And so while you was investing in yourself and everything for what you was doing and everything like that, I was like, man, shoot, like, I need to invest in myself. I said, but then I was at the point in time, I was like, I was at the point from where I was willing to shut down, like, motivated to the max and everything like that to help push Lash Shade Beauty and Cosmetics. But then for me sitting right here trying to, like, shut down, if we already sit right here talking about God, I trust and believe on what you have called me to do and everything like that, why, I said, and so we can encourage other people to do on what they need to do, why can't we encourage ourselves? And I'm going to make Latasha go back and watch the replay. You got to go back and watch the replay. <laughs> but yeah, invest in, look, invest in yourself. And look, and I'm not just talking about investing in yourself just like, you know, like with new equipment and stuff like that. I'm also talking about investment. I'm also talking about investment in like, like in you, the person. Invest in you, the person. So it's going to be a time for where it's like, you gonna have a moment from where you gonna have like a, a shutdown moment, just where you can have that time to like restart. You know, just to restart yourself. Just be like, you know what? Let me, let me get to that point where I can restart myself and I can go chill or whatever like that. Learn how to keep that balance. I ain't give you the whole recap. That's right. You gonna watch it, so you watch it. <laughs> yeah, time with myself, right? And like I tell you, see that, honey? I tell you, you be helping me out with motivated to the match. You just don't know it sometimes. But then, like, yes, like, I'm telling you, like, it's very important. And from where it's important. And some of us fail to realize that sometimes. Just like when it, like, just like, like, just like, I'm so happy that you had the day off. (laughs) Cause I know you, I know, bro, you've been on that grind. (laughs) I know you've been on the grind. I'm just glad that you was there to have the day off. I really am. I'm glad you was there to have the day off. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because, <laughs> woo! But then, yeah, that's it for me. Podcast, I appreciate you guys so much for joining in and listening in with Motivated to the Max. Um, This has been like an awesome, awesome, awesome day for me. Um, You know, I was able to get some stuff in together and everything like that. You know, Facebook. Uh, YouTube, Twitch. I appreciate y'all as well. I will. We will see you. I will see you guys on tomorrow um, with um, kicking it with Team Tisdale. It's gonna be around about. It's between 9:30 and 9:45. We might just. We might look. Just be honest with you. We might just move it to 10. I'm gonna be honest. With you, we might just move it to 10. Um, 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, awesome day already. Yes, it is. And so then you will see me guys with Kicking It With Team Tisdale podcast. I will, it will not be like a podcast for like Kicking It With Team Tisdale. Um, we're working that stuff out on actually um, making a podcast into that as well. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Got to work out some kinks out first before we can do that. But don't worry, it's coming. Don't worry, you guys who, I mean, look, look, come follow on YouTube. Come follow on Facebook and YouTube. You know, come follow us. You know, we we look, we in now. Look, kicking it. Look, it's kicking it with Team Tears there. We we in now. So <laughs> like, yeah. So you guys will definitely uh, will see us on tomorrow because like, we did a pop up on last Saturday. But you know what? We owe you guys so much more than just a little pop up. And then you know, and be on the lookout for Pop Tosh. She'll pop. Look, she will pop up with something somewhere. Some you'll never know what time she's gonna pop up. Just be on the lookout when you see. Latasha's name come up or you just see or you see Pop Tasha invited you to come on a live that you better jump on that quick or you gotta catch the replay. Because that's one of her random moments when she just have a, a pop-up moment and then she'll just pop up and then she'll just she'll just flow. Alright. 
But then, yes, but other than that, you guys be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Facebook, y'all hold on for a minute. So then you guys be blessed, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.